so what if I'm doing sunshine and then birds singing and such and such? Uh, however, I do believe that I'm pleading. I seem to have sperm a leak and I'm leaving quite a puddle on the floor. No kidding. Where are you bleeding? Uh, I'm not for sure, but I may be dying. You want the number for Fluffy's funeral parlor? Oh. I'm thinking about having a sale for anyone who dies within the next hour. Oh, you're very kind. But if I could ask for only one thing, uh, I'd ask only for your company. And as you can tell uh, from my voice, I'm a very attractive person and a very good company. <laughs> Detective Stewart, is this you's calling again? Oh. I thought I told you never to call again. I'm not your secretary anymore. Oh. But I'm bloody, I'm bleeding. Oh, how convenient. That still don't give you no right to call. But I have very deep feelings for you, Doris. Very deep. And I wanted to tell them to you before I die. Let me tell you the story. Once upon a time, I had this very deep feeling. Deep in my soul and in my guts. And you want to know what I did? What did you do, Doris? I forgot it. Now don't just go back till you're dead. She's playing hard to get. <laughs> and I love her game.
pay you back to use erasers. You gave me Christmas presents that you made me pay for, and you called them gifts from me. How many from you? You ate my lunch every day, and, and you took away my staple privileges when I missed the award. You drag me through, you break ups, you break loose, you break downs, and now all that I have left is heartbreak. Thanks to you, I'm an emotional eater. <laughs> but Doris, if you're an emotional eater, a detective won't have to find your appetite. The only thing that keeps me from coming down there is because all you put through your heart. Is I know you'd only call 911 and then I have to answer. <laughs> Right. 
It's a very deep fruit. It's a mix between uh, sea breeze blue and lobster face red. It's a purple. Yes, purple. I purple you very much. You purple me? I'm blushing. Oh, you're very beautiful when you blush. And when, and when you don't blush. Well, a little bit more beautiful when you do blush. <laughs> But that's not a good reason to be a purple with you. Then let's find another reason. Oh. Uh, let's talk about hobbies. Okay. What did you do today? Oh, 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 oh. I talked with a woman on the phone practically all day. I'm very jealous. Jealous with rage. Oh. And now I feel passionately purple. Well done. But that's no good. Then I, I always have to make you feel jealous for you to purple me. It wouldn't be hard. I get jealous often. No, but. I couldn't do that to you. Then you do purple me? Of course, but uh, first let me hang up with the other woman. Who <laughs> was that? Uh, uh, no, no, no. What are you doing in this job? Nothing. I do nothing. I make my sister do all the work while I decorate. Decorate what? The store? No, for myself. Do I look all right? Oh, yeah. Uh, you look better than my curtains. How <laughs> sweet. You noticed me. Of course. You're the only other person in the room. <laughs> I, I want you to tell me something. I purple you. No, that's not it. You don't want me to say that. No, 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 that's not it either. Then what should I tell you? Uh, how about I do the question? That's why you're the detective. You know the proper order of questions and answers. Do you have any secrets? Secrets? I don't like that word. Oh, uh, what's your secret? Love. Love? Love is like an ocean. You can swim through it, taste it, or you can bathe in it. You could use it for salt water goggles, or to cool off in after a hot day. Or you could just suntan by it, get a little color in your skin. This is love. And this is love. Something's different about you. Maybe it's the cupcakes smeared across your face. Ha <laughs> ha. 